Good day everyone, welcome to a new market update and today we're going to discuss Binance Coin, every exchange token because Coinbase IPO is coming up and everybody is currently shouting that Binance Coin will be flipping ETH and I do remember what happened when that was being shouted in 2017 with ETH and Bitcoin it was close to the top of Ethereum back then so we're going to discuss that and we're going to discuss Bitcoin but do not forget to check out the rest of our YouTube channel and subscribe beneath and also like this video and comment if you want to see some specific content. But first we're going to discuss Bitcoin as Bitcoin is approaching new all time highs and that could also be due to the fact that there's so much momentum right now towards Binance coin. Um, as we can see that there is some volatility in the chart in itself as Binance coin just had a slight retrace after hitting a new high and Bitcoin is going alongside with it. What are the important levels to watch? Well, we do know that there was a famous indicator shouting that we were going into a bear market um, causing the price to drop and there was the options expiry day a few weeks back through which the price dropped towards 55k. However, after this occurred, we can also see that price reversed as most of the people were shouting for downwards momentum. And since then we had some nice expansions to the last hurdle, which is this previous all time high. And what we saw during the weekend is we see we did see this breakout happening. And when such a breakout happens, there's usually not many levels beneath that the price can test. And in this case, the price ran up and as you can see there's nothing in between so this order block is the level that you should be looking at if you want to get any entry point and as we can see we've got a beautiful retest here so what's next there's two scenarios that we can look for with bitcoin it's essentially this breakout of the all-time high here if that happens then you should be looking at whether so we are getting something like this uh, you should be looking at whether we're going to flip the previous high for support. If that happens, the path is open to 68k as this chart shows. However, is that if that fails to happen, we can see another failed breakout. And then we can see downwards momentum back again towards 58, 56k. And further consolidation in which the price of Bitcoin is just going to act sideways as a consolidative period and then altcoins will continue running but as we just discussed binance coin is the topic that we should all be addressing right now as the coinbase ipo is coming up does that mean that you should be aping into binance coin at this stage no if you look at this chart you know that you should not be getting into this one given the fact that the upwards potential is relatively limited and your risk is significant as a drop down towards anything in the 400 region is just a very healthy occurrence and next to that it's usually a buy the rumor sell the news concept which we have been seeing happening in the past more often one of those recent examples is cardano which had a beautiful upgrade but since the upgrade the price of cardano has seen a corrective move and has been consolidating then next the moment that it becomes into the spotlight and when everybody starts to discuss it, that's usually the end game of a certain run. Therefore, we also know what happened with Dogecoin during the Wall Street bets. Massive pump and then everybody started to shout that we was going up even more, discussed it on social media and since then we only have a corrective move. So hypes are coming and going just by the end of the day um, and therefore do not chase anything like this unless you are a, a trained day trader knowing what you should be doing. There you can start scalp trading Binance Coin on the lower time frames. But when you're looking at the higher time frames, you should know that there's not much of an entry right now. The very important entries that you should be looking at are figured at $330 bucks and $400. Um, and then there's also another level on lower time frames which is essentially the first real entry point, which is around $480. If you want to get any day trade or maybe even swing trade opportunities, you should be looking at any of these regions for a potential support test. If that happens, then you can start taking a trade, but more importantly for swing trading, you should be looking at anything here. And there's a beautiful example as in 
on the left we also saw a massive expansion of the price and the price dropped down two levels that it has as historical price movement so this level here is an historical price movement where the price came back to to find support after which a consolidative period happened and the price started to make a new expansion and during this expansion we know that there's support resistance flips so in this case you also know taking the entry is the best doing it on historical price action similarly with the level around 480 bucks and primarily also with lower levels and there's also the entire group of tokens doing really well right now as KuCoin is also making those this momentum up in which we can say this is also not an entry point the train has gone away already you should be looking at different coins and in this case you should be looking at anything as an entry point around 660 next one is around 11 bucks and then as you just saw on a lower time frame there's another one which is around 1350 that's the real first real entry point but more importantly you should be looking at anything around 11 bucks so is binance coin going to a thousand dollars could be can binance going to binance coin go to 2k yes that's possible as crypto has lots and lots of loss of potential still but does that mean that you should be taking this trade right now because of all the fomo because of all the hype and because of people saying it on social media no you should be looking for the entries when nobody is discussing it because when everybody starts to talk about binance coin going to x or i that's the moment that you usually should be getting out of it partially or maybe even fully so i'm not expecting that we're going to have a massive run could still happen um, but the entry points that's why you are starting your journey and that's how you derive profits or you could get profits if your entry is shit the rest will also be garbage entirely so do not forget to subscribe to this youtube channel and check out my twitter and instagram and i'll see you again tomorrow